It is so bad. I've decoded an incoming transmission. Can't quite make it out. Voice only. Play the transmission. Yeah, you're getting hit. It's it's fucking hell, man. It is so bad. And and there are still people on Twitter defending respawn. When rightfully so, a lot of people are just very upset that this shit is going on for years. Over two games. And it's their right to be upset about it and criticize respawn and EA for being incompetent as fuck for real and then there are still people on twitter saying respawn doing a good job and they're only humans imagine if you dude if i would bring a car to a mechanic and he needs two years to tinker on it or three years and after that my car still does not run would I say, hey, well, the mechanic is just a human. Humans make mistakes. Yes, they do mistakes. But if you cannot fix your fucking game for years, maybe game development is not the job you have. Maybe it's not the job that fits for you. Fucking joke. At this point, it's laughable how incompetent a game developer of this size can be. Sad to see Titanfall suffering still off the games. It's so frustrating. It is frustrating. But, you know, at this point, it does not frustrate me that much that it gets attacked. What frustrates me more is that the developers are so fucking incompetent at their job to secure it. Okay, so I do network invite. That crashed for you. Yeah, yeah. This is literally the worst. The worst. And I've played a lot of multiplayer games in my life. I can now play Unreal Tournament 2004 on stable servers. And that game is, what, 17 years old. I can play a 17 years old game on stable servers. But not fucking Titanfall, imagine. It's comedy, yeah, it's... All those developers should fucking quit their jobs and search for something else because they're clearly too stupid to program a video game. And now people come to me and say, well, you try better because it's a hard job. It's a hard job to do a video game. Oh, of course it's a hard job. It's a hard job. I, I have a hard job as well, but if I would be incompetent as they are in my job, I would get kicked the fuck out of it. You know what I mean? Fuck my life. How can you defend this bullshit? How can you still say, well, they're just humans and everyone makes a mistake? Yeah. That is the same as, that's like saying, let's say you know someone who, who kind of who kinda slapped his woman or his wife. And then you say, well, it's just human to have emotions. Maybe he got carried away a little bit. Yeah, nice one. Please, ladies and gentlemen. Please stop defending bullshit. And this is why everyone is shitting on you. Because you are too stupid to do your fucking job. The most basic things. You have a game, you want to make it run. It's the most basic thing. It's like you're a car manufacturer and you're too stupid to make the engine work. And everyone who buys your car cannot drive the car because the engine is not running. And people putting fuel into it, but it's not starting. You know, it's you can it's not starting. And then people are there and they are mad about it. And then you still don't do anything. And then you wonder why you lose reputation. How can someone be so fucking... I mean, at this point, it's. I just feel sad. I just feel sad for you guys. I just feel sad for you being so bad 
at what your what your job is with what you actually earn your money to then feed your families. Because if I would do that, if I would be so bad at my job, I, I would not even quit it. I, I would get thrown out. And all those respawn developers leaving or already left respawn, I hope they can do something better because respawn at the moment, what it is now, I can say, hey, I'm sad it's a, it's a, it's a sad case, but I say it's a fucking pile of shit. And people are still on Twitter. People are always complaining. Yeah, people are always complaining. I will make fun of the people who complain about Titanfall. Yeah, because you're a fucking cocksucker. And licking ass of developers that cannot do anything right. Vincent Bella went to Battlefield yesterday and Titanfall is getting DDoS again. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, he would give a shit. I know back in the days when uh, Respawn... Yeah, when Respawn got created, like, they departed from Infinity Ward and Titanfall 1 came out. Everyone was worshipping Vince Zampella. But you know what? I don't give a shit. As a person, yeah, maybe. I don't know this guy, you know? Maybe as a person, he's, he's maybe a nice guy. I don't know. I don't want to... I don't want to say, hey, he's a bad man, because I don't know him. But it's it's clearly to it's clear to me that he doesn't give a flying fuck about Titanfall and the franchise and and the state of the game. That's just that's just obvious to me. And if I'm wrong, then if I'm wrong, then hey, maybe I'm wrong. But does it matter? No, because it doesn't change anything. It's a fucking joke. It's. it's and then people are, people are people are there like, yeah, but but EA is telling them what to do. Uh, EA is, but no, it's respawn. They're so stupid. Fucking hell. <laughs> what a fucking joke. What did they say earlier? Titanfall is still the core of our DNA. Yeah. Bullshit. Corporate bullshit. Stop lying, Respawn. I'd rather be... I'd rather have the truth in my... Ramped and in, slammed into my face, like saying, Hey, we don't give a shit about the game. Than being lied to. Because that bullshit is just... N totally not believable. Actually... <laughs> I gotta give you that, Respawn. You're making me laugh a lot. You know what I really would like to see? I mean, not gonna lie, I, I don't wish anyone bad, you know? Usually I don't wish anyone bad, because in the end, we are human, we are human beings, we, we try to achieve harmony in everything we do, right? But in that case, what I would want to see is Apex Legends failing. I want to see Apex Legends absolutely going down. Taken down by... I don't know. Taking Apex Legends getting taken down by hackers for like, I don't know, a month? Maybe just like the Apex Legends gets attacked so hard that it's literally unplayable. And then Respawn has to fix it. But they cannot fix it, because the hackers are fighting back. So it takes weeks for the game until it can run again, you know? Until it runs again. So they finally wake up and realize, over the loss of all the money and skins they could not sell in that time, you know? How hard they fucked up. And then they become a better studio, a better persons. Putting up... Taking their heads out of their asses and become good developers again. This is what I would like to see, actually. Not because I want them 
I don't wish them any any ill. I I just I just think they should stop being that arrogant and start doing their job again. Uh, why do you hate Apex? Very mean. I don't hate Apex. It's fine. Apex can have their fan base. You know, Apex can have their players. Apex can can be popular. That's not a problem here. The problem here is that respawn is just talking bullshit at the community and uh, clearly just has eyes. It's, instead of fixing games, they just sell skins on Apex. It's not Apex fault. You know, it's not Apex fault. Apex is just the. Uh, it's just Apex. Fucking hell, it's not. It's not Apex fault. It's respawn. Apex did get a massive problem in, in, in the season six, and they did wake up, just not fully. They hired a security team. They hired a security team. Well, not doing a pretty, not doing a pretty good job for a security team, don't you think? Uh, it's you see the state of Titanfall 2 when um, the last couple of months where you just get disconnects and shit you know that's one thing I can live with that because I know after trying two or three times it works but literally not being able to play the game it's it's so bad it's so bad <laughs> it is it's pathetic Respawn, you are pathetic. Trying to find the right words for it, but yeah, it is actually pathetic. 